Recently, there have been a number of posts made and sent to me uh, about internal and external rotation in the squat, what you should cue, what's required. The stance that recently has been adopted has making the blanket statement that internal rotation is what you need to cue and what you need to achieve in order to execute the back squat. And while internal rotation is a requirement to be able to hit depth in the competition squat movement, cueing only internal rotation is not an effective strategy. And I'm going to tell you why. Primarily, there's the conflation of foot pressure. So the idea that you need to pronate the foot to apply the largest surface area to the ground. Now, the foot has an arch. So by digging the big toe into the ground, we engage the, the musculature of the foot to maintain the integrity of the arch. We splay the toes and we root the foot into the ground. The conflation or the confusion stands, whereas the cue of rooting into the floor or screwing your feet into the floor results in this rolling out onto the outside of the foot, redu effectively reducing the surface area. When, when in reality, when applied correctly, the cue of rooting into the floor involves pushing that big toe down, splaying the feet and creating a large surface area while maintaining the integrity of the arch. The next is the argument that internal rotation is required to hit depth. It absolutely is. Below parallel in the squat, the, internal, uh, the external rotators of the hip actually become active internal rotators and internal rotation range of motion is required to achieve depth in the back squat. But outside of that range of motion, it is the external rotators of the squat that act to extend the hip with the exception of the adductors. Okay. There's also the discussion of compressive forces and the dominant strategy of sacral nutation, which is the forward rotation of the pelvis. Now, if we have a dominant strategy below parallel of internal rotation and sacral nutation, and then we also have a loaded barbell on our backs that is pushing us into this dominant strategy. To effectively cue into this dominant strategy eliminates the ability to eccentrically resist force. And this is a big uh, sticking point for me in that if you are loading into the dominant strategy, you are not resisting against the forces of the barbell. The barbell isn't only coming down, that downward force of gravity is being dispersed through the body, through the joints, and into the floor. So it will follow the path of least resistance through the body. What we're trying to achieve in a competition back squat is relative neutrality. The stacking of the joints underneath the barbell to provide the largest amount of surface area underneath that vertical plane. Okay, that is gonna be impacted by our physical orientation. Where the bar is on our back, how wide we are, how wide our stance is, whether our toes are flared out or it's pointed forward, this all will affect mechanics about the hip. So we cannot make these blanket statements. Now, I've already mentioned the yielding forces and the storage of potential energy through the eccentric. But we also wanna make sure that we're loading contractile tissue and we're not loading into the inert tissues such as connective tissue, ligaments, etc. When we default or we cue into an IR strategy and compression, we perhaps could lose our relative neutrality, lose the stacked position under the barbell and load into tissues that aren't meant to store energy. Now, are we gonna cue internal or external rotation during the squat? Well, it depends on what's required to achieve relative neutrality. What cue is required for that lifter to stack their joints underneath the barbell and maintain that orientation through the execution of the lift? We want to engage and load the most amount of musculature possible. In initiation of the squat, that means rooting into the floor, digging that big toe down, creating a surface area about the foot, loading into those, that posterior chain musculature, into those glutes, into those hamstrings as we open the hips, 
that also will depend on how we're oriented. If you have a very narrow stance, you're not going to want to be cueing into, into, into external rotation because that will result in a loss of stacked posture. In a wide stance, you're not going to want to cue into internal rotation because that's going to result in a loss of the stacked posture. So increased external rotation and increased internal rotation are both movement faults. So the cue you use and the dominant strategy you use or you cue your athlete to use will be dependent on what is required to achieve that stacked posture and relative neutrality. One final point about internal and external rotation. I've just mentioned that excess external rotation and excess internal rotation are both movement faults. So what are we looking for? We're looking for a relative neutral posture. So if your default is to, is to over external rotate and lose foot contact, well, absolutely, you're going to want to tell your lifter to cue into extra internal rotation and compression and flatten their foot. If the default of that lifter is to collapse under the barbell, you're going to want to cue into external rotation to create more rigidity and, re and resist forces. These conversations are not black and white, and I think it's a very important uh, thing to have an understanding of the big picture, the biomechanics of the body and how it moves under load. And I think it is a bit short-sighted to just throw cues out, throw tools out of your toolbox. The greater our understanding is of the human body and the way it moves, the more variable we can be in our approach. So I would encourage us to not speak in black and whites, not speak in absolutes, and to look at a more nuanced view of, you know, a very important concept that's near and dear to my heart, and that's the squat. So I encourage conversation. I look forward to hearing what people have to think about this. And, you know, shameless plug, if you're interested in learning more about these types of conversations, uh, I would suggest you check out Coach's Corner University, uh, coachescorneru.com. Deuces.